Yes. Right, I can see us over here. I don't even see us on our own computer yet. All right, looks like we're on, Brother Keith. See what? Yeah, I don't know what that said. Yeah, something's going on. That was quick. Are we on? That yeah. Wow, that's quick. Yeah, I can even hear us. Not part of my costume. Yeah. All righty. Well, yeah, good we're morning. on. Yeah. We're on. Good folks. morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are actually on without a hitch. <laughs> yeah, you know what that means. Stay tuned for the hitch. That's right. <laughs> you know, anyway, hey, something's guess, coming guess, up. Guess what time it is, Joel? What time is it, Keith? It's time for the Smacky Jack Live once again. Yay! So, uh, yep, we're on just as scheduled. Looks like people are starting to join us. Hello, Barbara. Uh, so grab your cup, cup of coffee, uh, sit back, relax. It's a beautiful day. Spend a little bit of time with us, and we'll be right back. All right, here we go. From the Somerset Studios in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's Smackin' Jack Live with your co-host Keith and Joel Wenderman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Good morning, folks. It, it's amazing how quiet our audience is until, boom, all of a sudden they start clapping at the one it, time. It's almost like somebody pushes a button. Yeah. It, and it there is, they are. Yeah. You know, um, I mean, just had it. Oh, there they go. Again. <laughs> wow. It's quite magical, I'd say. They're very excited. It's quite so, magical. We're excited to be here. Hope you guys are having a great Saturday morning. It's another yeah. beautiful weekend here. Yeah, it's nice out. Chester County, Pennsylvania. So what do we got going on today, Joel? Well, of course, we have our... Uh, well, I have to say, um, you know, last week we laid it on pretty heavy, right? Yeah, we were a little heavy. <laughs> we were a pretty heavy show today, last week, think. So. But, you know, every once in a while, it, you know, we got some yeah. stuff we got to talk about. We talk about everything here on yeah. the show. Yeah, so, uh, so we're going to do our announcements, as always. We always have critical announcements that the people need to know. Yes, Right? People correct. need to know about all of our important announcements, and then we'll have our joke of the day. People need to, to laugh. Yes. After our announcements, they need a laugh. Yes. Right? And then uh, we're going to look at our website again, our Smack and Jack website, give you an update. Coming along pretty good, I must yeah, say. Yeah, it's coming Joe. along doing a great uh, job with it. slowly, but it's coming. It's, it's looking all right. Um, and then we'll do our facts of the day. That a actually ties in a little bit about what we talked about last week. Okay. okay. Sounds good. And we're going to do our birthday minute. Ever, so, um, ever popular birthday minute. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to keep great. things on the light side today, maybe a little bit shorter than last week. Uh, but let's get into our announcements. And what do we got up here well, first, Keith? I just want to remind everybody that we still have stickers, Smack and Jack uh -huh. stickers and Smack and Jack uh, magnets that uh, usually go in uh, you know, your refrigerator, wherever you want them. But uh, these are both still available. If anybody wants any, uh, just let us know. We'll send them out to you. Or if they're, you know, you're close enough by, we might actually stop by. And yeah, we can them drop them off in person, uh, hand them to so, you, etc. They are very nice stickers, so and everybody should have one on the back of their car, especially if it's a rental. I've been, I'm still with my rental, about five weeks in. <laughs> this thing's going to be more expensive than a Lamborghini. But that's awesome. And, and, you know, who cares? Who needs a Lamborghini? Uh, so that's that's a magnet, and that's the sticker. Uh, let us know, and we'll send one out. Yep, to you. and you can put the magnet um, on your car. You can put it on your refrigerator. Um, I have a couple magnets on the Dot and Dave's beach house. Right, okay. You know, because the renters are coming in. They're seeing smackandjack.com. Yeah, and there's a couple of my friends have metal plates in their head. So, um, <laughs> no. <laughs> All righty. Do we have a wah, wah, wah button? Uh, uh, well, we, we just have got a boo. A... Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> anyway, so just okay. let us know if yeah. you, you want a sticker or a magnet. Um, okay. And then uh, last week we talked, uh, we let everybody know about how Dad was doing. Yes, how's Dad doing this week? So Dad spent uh, about a week in the hospital. Turned out he had like a, a major bladder infection. Now that was right after our show. I got a call, uh, I believe it was Saturday. Yeah. Was it? Yeah, it was right, because he had just come back from the hospital. Uh, and he, he was in the rehab por portion of his where he's living. Uh, and then I got a call, they were sending him back over because he was in pain. So Yeah, so he spent... Turns out it was a bladder infection. He got that all cleaned up, so now he's back and he's doing. Yeah, it's doing pretty good. Um, feel, I mean, the last three nights I was over to see him at the hospital, and you were there too. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, his conversation was much, you know, not exactly in the present day, but it was a, a much nicer conversation. He wasn't in pain. Uh, it just seemed more comfortable. Yeah, it was good. nice. Good. So, uh, and the nurses said he was doing great. I'll, I'm going to be stopping by right after our show today. 
Um, our brother Tom um, is getting the it's medical doing, attention yeah. that he needs to get. He's actually down in Philly. It is down in Philly. Uh, yep. Getting, yep, yep. So Tom's doing a lot better. And he's doing much better. Yeah. yeah. So uh, so kudos and prayers and thoughts out to our. And, and I have to say, thank you. Uh, we did get a lot of comments regarding, you know, prayers and thoughts to your family at this time and all that after our show. So thank you to everybody who's been thinking of us, praying for us, and uh, Tom and Dad and. They're, they're doing well. It's It's been working. Okay, good. good. All right. So moving on, if you notice. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. Look. Whoop, I can't even do this. Now, right. this is this is something to be happy about. <laughs> yeah. We, we have hats. a couple of these things. And these are embroidered hats, yep. uh, people. The, the cap itself, it's a full cap. It's not one of the plastic things in the back, you know, where it's open with a mesh or anything like that. Uh, it's, it's a really high quality stitched logo. Um, it looks I don't good. Know what, yes, I don't know what we're going to do with that. They're a little expensive to give away. We may, I think we're going to give a couple of them away, uh, but they're there. Yeah, let, well, at this point, right, let us know if you want one. We have, we have two left at this time. We have two left. Um, Maybe we'll do that. We'll, we'll, it's, we'll give two of them out to see uh, how they're flying, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. And then we'll go from there. And but then we'll probably nice. what we'll do is a little bit later we'll order another batch. We have to order at least six at a time. To get okay. the discount that right. she can get. Okay. Uh, so we'll do six at a time, and we'll do that in a month or so. Okay. Uh, so we have good. two left. So let us know. Uh, what else is that? It. Yeah. Uh, so this is yeah, the first day yep, for yep. the new yeah, hat on the good. show. Okay. Can we yeah. get a? Uh, where's our? Yeah. yeah. There they are. <laughs> right. Still trying to figure out if we can embroider something on the uh, on my uh, my cap here. It'll cap. probably have to be in the back. Probably be on the back. Square, but, yeah. Uh, a little bit of smack and jack on the back of your cap. Hold on. Hold on. That was a little well, I tell you, we are full of them or full of it today. Uh, all right, so I guess okay. that's some announcements. Let's hop right on. Yeah, let's into get to our jokes joke of, of the, the day. day. All right, hey guys, good to see you. I see Barbara, Linda. Good morning, good morning, and I see Keith. You're yeah, on. Well, I, I, I am. I am actually on. I'm watching the show this morning. <laughs> all right, what do we got, Joel? Okay, we're back to the Jokopedia. Um, last week we deviated from this said um, volume of fantastic jokes, but Correct. today we're back to the Jokopedia. Yeah, okay. okay. And All don't right. bother looking for that because there is only one Jokopedia out there, That's right. and we have it. And then, and then they closed up the press. Yes. <laughs> Probably for good reason. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Okay, here we go. Joke number one. Get ready to, uh, to giggle. Don't take a sip of your coffee or no, your tea it's gonna go or all your over juice the place. right now. Exactly. We don't want it to, you know redecorate the room that you're in. All right, what do we got, Joel? All right, ready. Joke number one. Why did the pantyhose need a lawyer? Why? <laughs> they were on the run. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's, wow, a little risque for us, but okay, that's fine. Yep. Why did the sticker need a lawyer? Why? It was ripped off. <laughs> oh. Sorry, you, you know, that's right up our alley. Yeah, We've been yep. talking about stickers here. Do right? we have a right. Sean, I guess not. No, that would have been... That should have been for the last one. Yeah, I see. Yeah, that that didn't really fit Not in at this all. particular situation. All right. What are a gas station attendant's favorite shoes? What? Pumps. Oh, of <laughs> course. <laughs> all right. What are a plumber's favorite shoes? What? Clogs. Oh, okay. Clogs. Right. Logs. All right, last one, boy, boy, boy. If athletes can, get... oh, can I can I interrupt for one in Go here? Ahead. Go what ahead. is a um, what is a baker's favorite shoes? Pair um, of shoes. What? Loafers. Does that work? Loaf. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, come on, come on, get this, get this one right away. Wah, wah, that was wah. good. Okay, yeah, not too that bad. was okay. I mean, that, that was right. That was. Completely organic, ladies and gentlemen. Well, right, right off the cuff, man. Right off, oh, man. off the, yeah, man. Smack right, and Jack, we're just. Well, I tell you what, yeah, you know, Letterman, Letterman had to have everything written down. We don't. We just not us. Go with, yeah, yeah. yeah. You see what happens. Okay, all right. If athletes get athlete's foot, what do astronauts get? What mistletoe. <laughs> 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 very good. All very right. Good. Do not blame us, folks. Do not uh, blame very us. good. Very good. That one was so good. So good. Sent my allergies into yeah. a frenzy. 
Oh, All right. goodness. Very, Just making very sure good. we're still on the air there. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at our... Um, yeah, what's going on with the website? Let's take a look at our website. As, as I showed you last week, um, I had started working with the template right. um, from eStage, which is a product from the 4% group. Okay. Okay. So there's a lot of template you can follow through there, and it's, and it's very professional already. You just kind of plug things in, uh, which is always a problem with me when, when I had the, the GoDaddy site a couple years ago. Um, is, you know, the GoDaddy site was there, but you had to do everything yourself. And if you, like me, didn't really know what you were doing, it was tough to, yeah. to kind of get a leg up on designing and all that. So this was uh, basically a template that I bought. And let's take a look at um, what it looks like today where is my I think it's here okay so this um, incidentally um, these pictures are not all not all these pictures are gonna stay these are I just put these in for fillers okay because uh, Keith and I are gonna do a photo shoot yeah oh coming up Com this week, coming up this week yeah, yeah. So, uh, of course, it's going to be hot and humid. Oh, no, sure. The, and so we'll have, we'll like, have to edit out all the uh, sweat, sweat dripping down in it. Uh. So, uh, all right. So we'll see how that goes. So hopefully we get it done this week. This here I have not changed yet. I uh, changed a little bit of this last or for the other day. Um, last week you saw a lot of this. Some of it's the same. But let me show. Oh, and I put in some, um, you know, just some quotes that we'd gotten back from from things we, we send out. Okay. okay. So these are our actual uh, uh, testimonials, if okay, you will, of, of sorts, right? Nice, so nice. just, again, kind of some things to, to, to put in there. Um, down here, uh, become an entrepreneur in the 21st century, okay? So that, you actually click, it'll take you to the 4% challenge. It's a great picture, by the way. Thanks. I yeah, I think I might... Fits uh, in there. Except for my crooked tie. That, well, that tie is crooked every single concert. You're no know Hurricane here. Schwartz, I'll give you that, <laughs> but, yeah, but, you right. know. <laughs> uh, the, but I do like the use of that one. Yes. It's probably the only picture I have. A parent that was actually taking pictures of that concert uh, a couple years ago. So, okay. So moving on. Let's. Um, we did the about last week, but I wanted to show you the products. Okay. Um, our products page. Um, again, I need to put a picture back here, but I was able to plug these in here. Our most in-demand products. Now, um, these products are in demand. Not necessarily that we've sold a whole lot of these, but uh, in the four percent group, they are in high demand okay um so each one of these will eventually have a link when you press here that will take you to our sales page okay okay um and then i'll add another product here and and i'll hopefully add another one there so that will kind of be our page for uh internet marketing uh training and so forth okay um through the four percent and then eventually I'll add a second page that will have some other products on it, maybe some physical products that we've been talking about. Okay, okay. good. So that's where we've got yeah. gone there. Um, I can't remember what else I've done. Let's see, contact. I think we did contact last week, the be in touch mm -hmm. part. I did, um, let's see, blog. Oh yeah, I just added this one this morning. You deserve your thought of uh, thought of your own. Be in touch. Added that picture in the back. I actually kind of like that. Uh -huh. that I, out. I was yep. just throwing that in there as a filler, but I kind of like it. Um, and then down here, uh, we'll have more stuff that I need to edit, and I need to link all this up, and I need to edit that. But so there's a lot that I've done, but there's a lot more to do. Okay. Um, to get this back, or you know, to get it up so that it's a, you know, website ready to promote. Okay. okay? So that's uh, very good. That is where we are very with good. Looks, the, looks, the looks website. Good, yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, the the other thing I wanted to point out is that um, some of you might remember a book that looks like this, Roger's Thesaurus. Right. Okay. It took so, me a long time to figure out why Roger had a T in it. <laughs> right. And why is that? Well, because it's Roger. Roger, and not Roger. Okay. Right. All right, so this is actually the one that I got. <clears throat> There's my handwriting. I believe when I was in grade school, I can't remember. It I was like pretty in, old. Our, our phone number was L06. L06-2566. And that right? was Lowell 6. L -O yeah, what was that? I had no idea. That was what the, was that all about? Like It all had a name hooked to yeah, it. Yeah, it was L -O -W -E -L -L crazy. L-O-W-E-L-L-6. So, um, so I pulled this off the bookshelf because I wanted to use it for different words as a... Um, <laughs> setting up that website but i wanted to uh talk about the word create because i you know on the front page there it said um design your own future right last week i had create your own future okay so i'm not exactly sure what i wanted so i went to the thesaurus and i looked up the word create so we could possibly use some of these words um cause make form 
bring into being, fashion, originate, occasion. That's weird. Yeah. Constitute, produce, okay. procreate. Okay. <laughs> raise, rear, propagate, breed. Propagate. Well, that breed your own future. Yeah, some of these things just aren't going to work. <laughs> All right, what else? Devise, design. Oh, good. Design. Yeah. Conceive. Conceive your own future. <laughs> Invent, construct, build, and so on and so on. Uh, so I thought that was kind of humorous, some of the yeah. ideas that uh, you can get out of Roger's thesaurus. So uh, believe it or not, I kind of like using the, the paper book when I can. Rather than clicking here, yeah, you, you got to funnel through all yeah, the advertisements. Yep, yep, yep. No you advertisements know, there. You just pick up a book, you open it up, and... And there it is. And it was right? paid for 30-some years ago, yeah. so there's no advertising involved. You know what, Linda, I think you got that for me, I have to say. I think you went down to media when I needed that, and you and you, you got that book for me. I don't yeah, know if you paid for I it yourself or if Mom gave you the money or something like that, but I'm pretty sure you got it for me. Um, so thank you, Linda. Yeah, very good. Bravo. I'm still using it. Um, okay, what else we got uh, here? Let's do some facts of the day. Okay, facts of the day. So the facts of the day tie into a little bit of, about what we were talking about last week. Um, and they kind of uh, center around uh, depression. And I know we want to keep things upbeat, so we're going to keep uh, this going pretty um, quickly today. We got a little music with us. Yay! Okay, so let's begin here. 350 million people of all ages around the world suffer from depression. That's a lot of people. Women are approximately two times more likely than men to suffer from major depression. Wow. wow. Huh. Interesting, yeah. That. Placebos are 31 to 38% effective in treating depression, compared to 46 to 54 for antidepressants. Well, wow, that's not. Yeah. Huh. Depression can cause you to dream up to three to four times more than you would normally. That's interesting. Severe huh. depression can cause us to biologically age more by increasing the aging process in cells. That I definitely wow. believe. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Yes. One in eight adolescents in the U.S. have clinical depression. Yep, and I know that just from being a teacher. <clears throat> uh, research conducted on comedians uh -huh. and funny people have shown they are usually more depressed than average. Uh -huh. Very interesting. Ten Autistic. times more people suffer from major depression now than in 1945. I wonder if it's just diagnosed a little bit more now as yes. depression, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, but... People spend a lot of time on the internet or more likely to be depressed, lonely, and mentally unstable, a study found. Very interesting. Uh -huh. Iceland is very depressed. It has the world's highest rate of antidepressant use. Interesting. Now, could that be because it's so high up and, and the sun, you know, they say something about, uh, you know, the winter people get depressed when it, there's, there's not as much sun. So. Um, yeah, possibly. You know. We'll have to check out where Iceland actually hangs out there. Uh, but that. I agree. Lincoln suffered depression and avoid carrying knives, fearing he would use it on himself. Wow. Stop carrying knives. Today yeah. it's be like all sorts of different things, right? Elephants and chimpanzees can display a behavior pattern similar to post-traumatic stress disorder and depression. Interesting. Oh. One in five people in France has experienced depression, making it the most depressed country in the world. Wow. Yeah, wow. interesting. Sigmund Freud recommended cocaine as treatment for depression, alcoholism, and morphine addiction. No kidding. Yeah, interesting. Gratitude can boost dopamine and serotonin, just like antidepressants. And you know what? I discovered that singing and singing in a choir or singing in a chorus can also boost those natural, um, you know, feeling enhancers. Okay. So that, you know, being part of a group or something. Okay. Uh, okay? Yeah. All right, moving on. Just a few more here, folks. Moderate exercise can not only treat, but actually prevent episodes of depression in the long term. Yeah. I agree um, with that, too. Uh, yep. 14.8 um, million American adults have depression. That's 6.7% of the U.S. population age 18 and older. Uh, whoops, sorry. We'll sign up later. The median age for depression in the U.S. is 32. In Belgium, people with autism, bipolar disorder, depression, and other mental illnesses can request to be euthanized. Euthanized. Wow. That is amazing. Yeah, well, that ain't going to help anybody. Women who use a hormonal form of birth control are more likely to be diagnosed with depression compared with those who don't. Hmm. All right, last one. Some, uh, some users of antidepressant clomipramine have found that it causes the strange side effect of orgasms after yawning. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Alright, that oh, is it. Gonna, yeah, we're gonna need a minute like, here. This is Keith, uh, Keith, that's a picture of you right there, dude. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I hope I'm yawning. I really hope I'm yawning. Oh my oh, goodness. That is, uh, is that interesting wow. or what? That is very Sorry, kids. <laughs> Every once in a while, the show gets real, man. <laughs> well, that was, that was good. That was very good. Okay, so let's take another minute, and uh, I'm going to turn my music down a little bit here. Uh, as I was looking for, you know, topics to go over today, I, I came upon um, uh, this uh, posting about this teenager. Oh, yeah, this is interesting. Okay, who was... Um, was working for as a landscaper. There he is, um, and he's you know he's saving money to go to college. I think he's due to be in college. Bow tie, just and he's got a bow tie. Yeah, bow tie. Yep. 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 And he looks pretty good there, mm -hmm. right? Um, so he was working as a landscaper, and he um, pulled up some giant hogweed. Is that what it says here? Yes, giant hogweed. Yeah. Giant hogweed while landscaping and apparently what the you know rubbed on his face he didn't know what it was and neither would i quite frankly it rubbed on his face and uh, apparently there was a toxic toxicity that comes off of it um that actually removes part of the upper layers of your skin wow and you can get third degree burns by being in the sun very quickly um so this poor kid um you know he got it on him yeah and so you have to, um, you, you got to be out of the sun. And they said, you know, maybe six months to a year before he can actually go back into the sun. Wow. Yeah. Goodness um, So be careful this giant hogweed. Uh, it, it apparently is kind of moving its way south. It's already in Pennsylvania. It's in New York. It's in the okay. northeastern states. But this they discovered in Virginia. Um, and I'll show you some pictures over here. It grows seven to four feet. 14 feet tall. Now, when I saw that, I thought, well, that's that looks like a weed that I see all over the place. Mm -hmm. And the weed that I was thinking of was uh, Queen Anne's Lace. Okay? And a lot of us see that in, um, you know, bouquets. Right. That, you just see that everywhere. Yeah, in fields. Right? Yeah, that and, grows. And when yeah. I saw the picture of that, I was like, get out of here. Tell me that that stuff is poisonous. Well, it's, it's a different plant. Right? So, giant hogweed. Uh, here's a sign saying, stay out of there. Uh, wherever that is. Um, wash your skin, cold water, stay out of sunlight, consult a physician if you have concerns. Well, I would have concerns too. Yeah. So uh, if you haven't yet, we're not going to spend too much time on this, check out the giant hogweed. It grows 7 to 14 feet. It's much more robust than the yes. Queen Anne's, uh, and it has kind of, I believe, of a reddish stem on it. Um, but if you get it on you, you know, wash immediately. Yes. If you get it in your eyes, it you could possibly go blind from the burns That's incredible isn't yeah it? Wow. so um do just, we know where it came from you said it was introduced or it was found here in 1990 yeah i believe it's somewhere in one of these articles here it says uh, it came over in about 1990 um i believe they said it came from um somewhere in asia okay and somebody planted it just as a plant um and then Becomes an invasive species. Exactly. So it is on the the invasive species list. It's against the law to, to plant it or carry it across state lines. Yeah. Uh, so just uh, you know, a public service announcement wow. for that stuff. Look up hogweed if you haven't if you're not familiar with it. I was unfamiliar with it until last night, uh, when I was doing a little research. So I thought, well, let's share that. Okay. So you heard it here on Smack yeah, and Jack, first, right? First, yeah, yeah. It uh, gives you another reason why not to do any gardening at all. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> you know, and I haven't done gardening for 11 years, and I feel great. <laughs> when I, I feel uh, just great. When I go out to work in my yard, I know what uh, poison ivy looks like. Mm, yes. So before I start pulling things, I I look for that. I, I don't really know what poison oak looks like because I don't think I've ever had it in my no. yard. No. Um, but everything else, I, I kind of know is not poisonous. Mm -hmm. But you never know, like that thing there, I would have thought was the Queen Anne's lace, yep. right? And I would have weed whacked it or yep. pulled it up or something. And there's a lot of stuff that looks like that. Thistle, you know, when thistle yeah. gets real tall, you know, there's a lot of that real uh, sinewy uh, weed, you know, real hardy kind of. And yeah, you can, jeez. Yeah, yeah. So yes, like you said earlier, 
uh, weed or watch the ball game. I think the ball game or uh, call the landscaper. Yes, right. <laughs> They'll get it out for you. Right. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So we wish that young boy all the best in his uh, recovery. There. Yes. So okay. Um, so that was um, our facts of the day. We went into uh, uh, a. a a uh, human eating weed. Yes. And now we have the birthday minute. Yes. Sounds Yay. good. Let's okay. So that. let's get into our birthday minute. I have to turn up the speaker here again because if not, we're not going to hear the introduction to the birthday minute. All right. Here we go, folks. And now it's time for the Smack and Jack birthday minute. Birthday minute. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, whistle, whistle. Come on, come on. Happy birthday. Birthday. Boy, all, our props are dying here, dude. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> See, Your that hat's broken. A little bit too much starch in it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, look what happened, guys. I put my hat on. Just, where is it? And my string broke. So that Goodness. birthday hat is literally, yep. literally just sitting on, its last legs. Perched and on this top thing, of my I don't know. smack and jack hat. I mean, that sounds like a, a duck that got ran over. Well, okay. now on a normal day, that thing's not supposed to make any noise at all. Right? Oh, it isn't. Okay. Right? Those are the silent ones. <laughs> okay. We upgraded to these. <laughs> right. Right after They always seem to work well. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, who do we got as far as uh, celebrities? Yeah, let's do some Keep... celebrity things. Jane Lynch's birthday today. She was born in 1960. Jane Lynch was on a bunch. Are you okay? I just joked. Jane Lynch is a character actor. She's really funny, actually. Uh, she's best known for her, her role in Glee, which was on television for a long time. Uh, but she's been in some really silly things. Uh, great actress. Born this day in 1960. Woody Guthrie. Ah. Born this day in 1912. He's you know folk singer, and he was the father of Arlo Guthrie, which did uh, Alice's Restaurant. But uh, Woody Guthrie did it first. Born this day, 1912. Goodness sakes, that's a long time. Hey. Where am I go? Uh, Gustav Klimt. Now, I know a lot of people wow. know Gustav Klimt, but I'm sure they've noticed he's an artist. He's mm -hmm. an Austrian artist. Uh, Austrian symbolist painter. And he's, his stuff, uh, it's really figurative, and uh, and you you might not know his art, but you've definitely seen it. So he was born this day in 16. <coughs> now, wait a minute, one more time. 1862. Yay. So, right. Happy uh, birthday anyway, to yeah, so that's the, uh, Here's an interesting Smack and Jack fact. This is the second week in a row that we've had a Gustav birthday. Gustav Mahler, right. Mahler, yeah, last yeah, week. Right. Today, Gustav. So yeah. there you go, um, uh, uh, parents, if, if we're expecting uh, kids, which I know uh, uh, one of my dear little friends is expecting a child. Uh, Gustav is a good <clears throat> name. Yeah. You know, maybe even Goose a middle stuff. name, you know. Goosty. I mean, can you imagine the kids like two years old running around? Come here, Goosty. Yeah. I mean, what, what, how do you Goosey. nickname that? Goosty. Yeah, Goose. Goose. Yeah. yeah, what's the nickname for that? Right. Okay, anyway. so let's move on to um, birthdays of our friends. Okay, let's All do right. that. So here we go. Starting today, today okay. happens to be July 14th already. Oh, that means that this is Saturday. <clears throat> what was yesterday? Hmm, what was yesterday? I fell on, on the 13th. It was Friday. The, it was Friday the 13th. The 13th. Yay. <laughs> Happy Friday the 13th yesterday to everybody. <laughs> can we get on to the birthday minute? Yes, we can. Yeah, oh, let's try it. Here much. we go. Okay. okay. Starting today the 14th, we have Happy Birthday to Rob and Steve. Yeah, happy birthday, happy guys. birthday, guys. What a great day to have a birthday. All right. Moving on. All right. Tomorrow the 15th, we have BJ. Yeah, happy birthday, BJ. Lisa, Sharon, and Kathy. Yeah, happy birthday, guys. On okay. Monday the 16th, we have Beth and John. Yeah. All right, happy birthday. Happy birthday, guys. JD, that is. All right, moving on to the 17th, Tuesday the 17th. Well, we got a lot of people here. Yeah. We have Blake, Christine, Janet, Neil, and Pat. Yeah, happy Woo birthday, guys. Happy birthday. Happy we birthday. have a great day on the 17th on Tuesday. All right, 18th, Wednesday, happy birthday to Allison, Lee, and Sheila. Yay! Happy birthday! Hope you have a great day on Wednesday. Thursday the 19th, we have Anne. Happy birthday, Anne. All right, Friday the 20th, we have Eric and Robert. Yay! Happy birthday, happy guys, birthday. on Friday. Yes. yes. And on Saturday the 21st, next Saturday, we have Peter. Happy birthday. All right. All right, happy birthday. Everybody has a birthday this week. We hope it's a great week for you. 
Happy birthday! Happy birthday! And you may may you have a lot of like really big pieces of cake and a whole lot of ice cream. Yes. Yep. We okay. Eat, eat the ice cream fast because it's hot outside. It's, yeah, it's gonna be hot. Okay. And that was Max and Jack's birthday minute. Birthday minute. Birthday minute. Just figure out the drum track to that. Nice, <clears throat> great. It's been like a year. My uh, drum teacher <clears throat> would be very proud of me. Yeah, you remember his name? Uh, was that Kenny? Yeah, Ken Vogel. Yes. There you go. And okay. he's yeah. playing. He used to be playing. It's funny you mention that. He's playing a band called Jelly Roll, and I just saw something pop up. Really? The Jelly Roll's playing set, and they have a whole. And they showed the fr you know the front of the you know the singers and all that. Yeah. They didn't look familiar, but I bet you he's still in the band. How so about that? and I tell you, he was one heck of a good drummer. So yeah, you get cool. to see Jelly Roll. Uh, yeah, I've seen that. I mean, I I probably saw them twenty years ago. Yeah, I saw them a while ago too. Well, I didn't realize they were great. Your, your teacher uh, there. But anyway, so yeah. wow, yeah. cool. All right. Well, I think we just had our technical glitch, and that was with the. Yes, and we seem to have that a lot. That, that happens track, all the time. Yeah, I don't know why. Birthday minute. It, it's not uh, the computer's not pulling it or the program's not pulling it. I, I don't well, that's okay. I mean, that's I can. Yeah, deal if that's that, it. That's small of a glitch, if that is so. it, right? So uh, Keith, we have done a, a nice job of I think so. Kind of talking and, and extending this program far longer than probably we needed to. Yes. So uh, thank you very much once again for stopping by, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, are we going to be back next week? Yeah, we'll be we'll back. Be, okay, next week. let's do it again yeah. next week. And once again, uh, thank you very much for stopping by. You deserve a thought of your own. Be in touch. See you next week. All right, have a great week, guys. Thanks for tuning in. See ya.